What's going on everybody? Dreamcast84 here. Yeah. So I went to Goodwill today and I got a new monitor. I got it for $15 and just so happens to be that I have the right cords and cables and stuff to kind of finagle a little setup. So I got a little uh, setup here and I'm going to turn this off. Yeah, I got the game going. So this is like my old school little area. Um, I have recorded uh, many a intro down here before, but instead of the camera being positioned here, the camera has been positioned right here where this TV monitor, uh, this little computer monitor is. And uh, I couldn't really uh, get the best lighting. I got some lighting up here, fluorescent light, and I got a fluorescent light that is a setup right there. So, you know, hey. I always say this, and this is, this is a coin phrase, we do our best and go on. So we got Roadsters today, have not taken pictures of this baby yet, but um, I can just kind of play down here for fun just for a second, but um, yeah, being, being down here is kind of nostalgic for me, because I used to play DOS games and stuff, um, you know, back in the 90s and stuff, like early 90s, play some DOS stuff, and um, you know, I, I, there's this cool little uh, cow picture right there. Uh, it's just uh, really kind of cool hanging down here from time to time. Um, I really like this little monitor. It's very clean for the price. It, uh, it, it, I don't see any major dings in the resolution and stuff. It looks pretty good. So, uh, so far, so good. It's got a little uh, price tag right here. It says $14.99. I'm leaving it. And, uh, yeah, Gollum Cone. I'm, I love leaving uh, stickers and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I, I keep making comments from time to time that, uh, man, I get so tired of doing these videos and, I, you know, I just need to take a break and stuff. But I always find myself doing this. This is kind of an esteemable thing that I keep doing. So, um, yeah, I kind of begrudgingly do it. I probably need to keep my gripes to myself, admittedly. Um, I don't know. But uh, I'm just expressing myself. Um, don't mean to complain. Um, but I am excited to be playing Roadsters right now. Uh, what's very interesting is that I'm using this uh, uh, HDMI cable, which is very uh, uh, favored among people. I think it's the Tomy, the Tomy VGA cable, and I could not get this cable to work on my TV. And yes, Gollum Cone, we we talked about uh, daisy chaining stuff to HDMI and whatever. This is just straight VGA to VGA monitor. Nothing special with this hookup, but uh, it's going to look better than most TV hookups of the time, I guess. But uh, if you have like an HD TV, yeah, I'm, I'm sure your setup looks better than what this is. My setup in my other room is better than this. But um, yeah, we got Roadsters, and um, we uh, I, I took the um, VGA cable from the back and just, just unhooked it straight from the system. I just turned on the system, waited a couple seconds just because I've done it so many times when I did the flip switch. And just plugged it in and I got it to boot so uh, that's another method I'm not sure if that's I don't think it's gonna mess up anything it's just a cord it's just plugging in a cord it's not the power cord so there's that and I uh, kind of moved some things down here um, I got uh, this little uh, speaker uh, see this uh, this cable this Tomy VGA cable now uh, it has audio out so I have an audio splitter as you can see, which is put into the audio in of, of this little jammy. And when I turn it on, there's cool little lights. I like this speaker for that reason. It's not, not the best speaker. AUX mode. It says AUX mode every time I boot this thing up. But it's got a little light show. As you can see, it's pretty dope. Pretty dope. I had to unplug this lamp right here. This old old school musty, dusty lamp. I had to like un unplug that in favor of the monitor the dreamcast and the speaker <laughs> you know you're going old school when you have to plug in speakers and i don't have quality speakers which is kind of unfortunate but the sound let me listen to the sound qualities it's okay for what i'm what i do down here it's cool i think i can turn the volume up oh no that i whatever i did it wasn't the right thing <laughs> I kind of messed it up or something. What did I do? Just turn it off and turn it back on. We're figuring stuff out here on the Dreamcast 84 channel. Okay, okay, we're back. We're back to business. So, sometimes the best. I think I did. I, 
I did unintentionally turn it up, but uh, sometimes the best thing to do is just unplug stuff and then plug it back in. That's been my uh, experience with routers. You know, I have my internet router right here, and I got my Ethernet cable that's trailing all the way around up into uh, where I game normally, where I normally record. So uh, basically, uh, if I'm down here recording, it's because of uh, necessity for light. I have trouble with light and managing light, but uh, this is Roadsters. I don't really know what's all about Roadsters. All I know is that it's a racing game and there's a little bit of variety and uh, I just reviewed a bunch of games and I just playing a simple racing game, especially made by Titus. I'm excited about that because Titus came out with KO the Kangaroo and uh, you know it's, it's really cool. I'm just excited. This is going to be a long intro, but I'm known for that here lately. But um, what I want to do is get the monitor over on this other side where this tablet is and have the, um, just, uh, the, the footage being recorded over on this, well, I mean on the uh, other side. I just want things reversed, essentially, is what, all I'm saying. But um, yeah, it's just a little, little nook, a little corner where I can play games and it's really kind of apt that I have this kind of set up. I don't know, I might leave it. I might leave it. I, I might just uh, see what I can do just speaking out loud. Uh, we don't have to do anything uh, immediately. This is Roadsters, man. Um, I gotta take pictures like I said and uh, yeah, it's just, uh, it's good. I, you know, I got work tomorrow so uh, I got to worry about that. I, I get to come in a little bit late so that's cool. That's cool. Oh, there's an advertisement for MDK. Very classy. Like I said, Titus came out with some good stuff. This is a racing game. Uh, I have no idea what to really think about it, but uh, I'm just excited because I got a new monitor today for $15, and I hooked it up and just uh, well, you know, it's, it's like little life's victories when you uh, do man stuff, when you just like figure out chords, or you already have a bunch of chords because you're just frugal and you're thoughtful and you got that foresight, and then you uh, you, you reach into your bag of chords. And uh, you, you just, you have the right stuff, and uh, it's, it's, it's magic. It's magic when you uh, get the stuff working out. But uh, yeah, Roasters, let's look into Roasters, everybody. Right on, so this is Roadsters. Not much of a title graphic or any kind of like opening movie. It just kind of goes straight into demo mode with the little uh, demo movie where it just shows gameplay, right? Now the load times for this is just insane, so I'm just going to kind of talk over it just to kind of give you an idea of how insane this is. And check this out, man. Area 51C. Yeah, it was pretty long, but it was like a little bit more drastic the first time. like they're speeding up the uh, footage. Looks pretty good on the upscaler and everything. Yeah, it just shows you a little snip. It's not much. When it says please wait, it really does mean please wait. Dreamcast is hard at work. I hear it squealing. All right. Titus. Titus. <laughs> All right. Uh, this reminds me of Exhibition of Speed. I played a level of this last night. Um, I meant to play this uh, while I was at work today. I was thinking, yeah, I'm going to play some Roadsters. So uh, we're going to do the trophy, which is the Exhibition. We did it. This makes me think of, like, old primitive uh, PC games. Maybe because I was playing on that little PC monitor uh, with the, uh, you know, the uh, VGA outlet, uh, output or whatever. Nothing but the best. Uh, some of these were getting, you know, I was laughing. All too easy. <laughs> but a thing. Now that's the way I like it. Yeah, baby! <laughs> that guy. <laughs> yes. Don't sweat it, guy. I'm the best there is. <laughs> I think I picked that guy the first go-round. We 
Yeah. I'm just gonna be this. <laughs> Don't sweat it, guys. <laughs> anyway, um, showroom is where you buy a car, and I just pretty much went with what was expensive. Uh, just judging on the fact that, uh, you know, I, I don't know what any of this means, like how, I think I, I picked a green car that weighed more, this is 999 kilograms or kg or whatever that means, 140 bhp or whatever, there was another green one. Now that's uh, heavier, less bhp, I think I picked this one last time, so I'm just going to Go. I'm not looking at the stats like strictly, but we'll just, we'll just go with this one. Okay, I bought it. I think um, upgrade. It might say you might not have enough money. Yeah, not not enough. So that's okay. We're gonna have to win a race or something. Color. I think I picked a. Oh yeah, I want auto transmission for sure. All right, we're gonna be in Pleasantville. Remember that movie? where everything was black and white and then like uh, people started dancing and then color came out or something. I don't, I don't remember. I had good music. Good music. I had the soundtrack for that because, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, Roadsters. Yeah, so, yeah, you got little cottage houses. You got like little, um, Autumn leaves and stuff. I like the little interaction that you get with the stage. I, I like the fact that they added that the little touch with the leaves. Uh, the mechanics are pretty cool. The graphics are pretty cool. I, you know, I, I see the smoke and stuff after that car passed me. You know, the uh, little uh, exhaust trail is pretty cool. I like the colors. It's pretty neat. Um, you know, I'm just kind of uh, got my finger on the trigger. I probably need to feather the trigger. Um, the frame rates and everything looks pretty uh, spiffy. It's uh, pretty quick. Uh, you know, the uh, this is a quick-looking racing game. I don't know. It's like the frame rate is kind of uh, unnaturally fast. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? It's cool though. I, think I can go in this way. A little shortcut or something. I am uh, second place. Doing pretty good. But, uh, you know, I always I always speak too soon. Um, I got two issues of Fangoria today. It was the one with the uh, Adams Family on the cover, and I, I, I Army of Darkness on the cover. It's like uh, two issues from '92. So uh, I guess I got a soft spot in my heart for 1992 horror movies, as of, uh, you know, in, in just in the '90s in general. I think uh, you know, Shawshank Redemption came out and stuff, and you know, Forrest Gump. And, all that good stuff. If I pass this red car, I can get in first place, right? Last lap! Okay. I feel like I'm kind of being steered without trying to. Like, if I just put my finger on the uh, trigger and not try to steer, it kind of tweaks me in one way or the other. It's kind of annoying. Controls aren't perfect. That red car is just the champ right now. I just I can't get near this guy. And, um... Hey, I managed to finagle. I've been using that word a lot recently. Uh, I, I finagled my way to first place, which is very awesome. I'm very happy about that. I feel like the background music could stand to get a little higher here. Yeah. Yeah. I picked a cool character. He's like, you know I'm the best there. You know, I don't know if that's exactly what he said. He's like, calm down, ladies. You know I'm the best. Talking like, uh, you know, not emoting, just kind of talking like Michael Jackson from, uh, uh, what's that, uh, Looney Tunes movie with Michael Jackson? Toon Squad, the movie. It's okay, I'm Michael Jackson. Sit down and have a bowl of oatmeal. It's okay, I, I'm Michael Jackson. My acting is very subpar. It's okay. Get in your white Bronco and just try to outrace the cops. Cool, I think I upgraded it, but um, yeah, I don't know. This game really reminds me of Exhibition of Speed. 
and yet at the same time it also reminds me of Speed Devils and I would argue that Speed Devils is just better than Exhibition of Speed or Roadsters um, because Speed Devils has this uh, addictive quality where you just want to keep coming back to the game and just kind of like zone out and play it. Uh, it has very uh, awesome stages and everything. I, I, I love Speed Devils a whole lot. Um, but let's go to the next race and just do another one. Uh, race 2, the Chateau Morset. Trace Dos Uno. Yeah. So I got a little sports upgrade, so uh, what does that mean even? Hey, this is a cool little stages. I, I like I like this I like exhibition of speed for the um, track variety and uh, this one kind of gives exhibition of speed a run for the money. Now, I, I'm pretty sure I gave Exhibition of Speed a 10 out of 10 just because it's like a pretty good import and I think I felt I would have felt bad if I gave it anything less but uh, there's this like weird Aurora Borealis uh, effect I'm not sure if you can see it with the purple and black sky but it looks like the sky is falling like fragments are falling out of the sky or something strange um, the mechanics are a little bit strange to get a hold of it's uh I don't know this game has a uh, personality and stuff it's, I, I like the the fact that you can have a character kind of like in uh, Exhibition of Speed and uh, you, I, you feel like you're going on a ride with them because I, I played as a little cowboy for Exhibition of Speed and I kind of have a soft spot in my heart for racing games and uh, a, a game, a racing game can be kind of horrible but I'll still like it. Like I, I gave, I'm pretty sure I gave 4x4 four four Jam a 10 out of 10 as well. Yeah, and uh, I... I unlocked all of the stages but with 4x4 four four Jam, and I still think about it and want to play it from time to time. I mean, for, I recommended uh, that same guy who came out that published 4x4 four four Jam. He was publishing other games, but they're all like 2D looking games or like uh, updates of old games, like old PC games and stuff like that. I mean, that's cool and everything, but uh, I really want that 3D stuff. And, um, just not getting enough new 3D stuff. That's why I was trying to support 4x4 Jam, but uh, you know, it's all good. What do you have to push to reverse? Huh. Oh, okay. You, you have to push a button and then, yeah. It's like A and then right trigger reverses and then like X right trigger reverses, something like that. Exhibition of Speed has a little bit better controls. Um, this one, I, I, I guess all of them are different. You can get used to, you know, racing games. Um, just how they handle, uh, all of them have differing, you know, controls with the, uh, different, you know, vehicles that they offer. I mean, we all know how racing games work. Girl, you don't hear many people talking about roadsters. People are more vocal about, like, F1 Challenge, Passion Rosa, and um, what's some of the other ones? Uh, I don't know. I'll put an overlay down, I guess. But yeah, man, people people love their racing games, and I can't blame them. I mean, like car racing games are great. You know, I like pod racing. I like the arcade racing games a lot. Um, this is just an impression review, like I always say. And I, I really like Exhibition of Speed, but that's not to say this one's bad at all either. It's just that I haven't played it enough. Now, I, I could very well think that this is a 10. I think that I... Uh, didn't I say something kind of low for uh, Exhibition of Speed? I said something like 9 point something, and then I like later on retracted what I said, and I said, just, I was, I'm just going to give it a 10. But uh, for this one, I don't know, it's it's cool. It's just, uh, it feels kind of loose on the controls, and that's a little bit undeniable. Um, and I'm all over the place on the track right now. Um, but it's just kind of easy to keep your finger on the trigger. It's, you have to kind of remind yourself from time to time, hey, I need to let loose a little bit on the acceleration but um yeah the music is just kind of 
nothing special. It just kind of sounds like some standard generic stuff. So for that, it's like, I don't know, it's a racing game. You're going to, like, judge it based on the controls more than anything. I don't care about the music necessarily. Yeah, the, uh, the graphics and the backgrounds and stuff look, looks as good as any other racer. It just looks pretty creative and ingenuitive or whatever. I was thinking, um, I was doing some deep breathing earlier, and I was just thinking to myself about how, like, um, we all kind of just parrot each other, and I think that we just recycle and parrot information that we come across for the most part, it's stuff that we've been exposed to within the last day and a half. And uh, anytime you interact with people, it's just kind of an amalgam, amalgamation of uh, just your past experiences within the day and a half. Because I think that people's like short-term memory, like we're extremely smart, but there's also people who are kind of operating at a lower vibration where when you talk to them, it's like they don't really articulate or formulate any kind of thoughts. Like they're just kind of like reactionary because they're operating on that lower vibration. They're just kind of like... You know, they'll be quick to, like, knock someone else down for, like, doing something quote-unquote stupid or something that, just to make themselves look superior, but they really don't have any, like, insight, you know, like, or any forethought or anything like that, but, um, I don't know, I'm just being analytical about, um, about that, but, uh, there's people who are operating on this kind of base instinct stuff, and then there's other more cerebral people, but, um, I don't know, I guess it all just kind of boils down to how much oxygen you have in your blood, how much exercise you get done with, um, you know, just how much internal work you do, um, you, you gotta be in the moment, I think when, when you meditate, you're, you're breathing, so you're getting more oxygen to your bloodstream, but, at the same time, you're kind of like being mindful and you're trying to like push the uh, thoughts. You're not really pushing thoughts away. You're just like letting them flow and you're not really holding on to them. Like you're acknowledging that you have a thought and you're like, you know, thanks. For, you, you, you like thank yourself or you thank God for having that thought and you just let it go. Um, I guess it just kind of helps you stay in the flow or whatever. But, um, you know, when it comes to having you know, just, um, being self-aware, like, moment to moment, a lot of people are just kind of reactionary, and they're just kind of, like, operating on script, and script is nothing but programming, because they, you're, you're taught programming, but if you're kind of more grounded and inside of yourself and in the moment, you're more of your own genuine person, and I'm just thinking about the, um, I don't know, you can't really wake people up, you gotta wake yourself up. You can't really say, hey, like, what does this or that mean to you, or anything like that? Because it's just over their heads, they're, they don't care, you know. It's gonna be kind of a long review, but, you know, aren't, aren't they all? <laughs> and, uh, I kind of bemoan my own channel, because, I mean, I could, I could do so much different, like, uh, I do from time to time kind of complain about how much work I put into these, but uh, if I didn't want to do it, I wouldn't do it to begin with. Yeah, I kind of like the um, Arizona Arizona looking caverns and whatnot, but um, yeah, I mean I, I have every right to complain because it's my channel, but uh, the, the way I see it is it's, I'm not really complaining as much as just saying how I feel or whatever. Now I need to reverse so it's the A button and acceleration and X button and then accelerate to go forward. So to, it's not straightforward when you go reverse and you have to hit gas. It's just not straightforward. But um, yeah, the controls are wonky all over the place. That's what's going to keep this from being a 10. And that whole reverse schematic is not easy. Like it should be the left trigger. Hold down left trigger to reverse. I mean, that would be the most... Uh, competent way to go about it, but, uh, yeah. I just feel like the frame rate is just all over the place. But, uh, yeah, d doesn't this game kind of feel unnaturally fast, you know? And it's weird because of the, uh, the clipping and the pacing and whatever, it's just, uh, you know, you, you kind of feel kind of natural 
and then all of a sudden it just kind of speeds up for no reason. So I think it's like when you hit turns or something. But yeah, just uh, being, you know, like when you fast and exercise, you're like eliminating, like you're losing weight and you're eliminating like parts of yourself that holds yourself back. Like it's like you're grounded in this reality, but you know, you don't really want to be grounded in this reality because there's like a spiritual part of you and it's, uh, you get used to the whole, you know, reverse schematic. It's just kind of weird to get used to, but, uh, yeah, it's like, I, I don't really want a whole lot of myself in this realm because the earthly fleshly realm is just, uh, there's too many variables that go against you. Um, anything can go wrong. And you can't really trust people because all of the answers are inside you, right? I mean, if, if you look outside of yourself for any kind of answers, you're always going to be led astray. And there's too many people out there looking for outside sources of validation because they're just lost and uh, the system wants you to stay lost. Um, they want you insecure and fear-based so you spend more. I mean, that's the bottom line. It's all about... Uh, generating income for them. For, okay, I made second. I think I busted through to the next stage. Next race. Pleasantville B. Oh, there's a there's a three tier system for Pleasantville. I think that movie had uh, was that Toby Maguire? Uh, you you come across articles online where it's like, why Hollywood doesn't cast Toby Maguire anymore or something? You know, it's just like. I don't know. I mean, that is our, that is a title that's worthy of a click. You know, just like, you know, well, why is Toby Maguire not in movies anymore? Every now and then, somebody people just kind of fall out. I remember uh, Rick Moranis stopped doing movies just because he just decided to be a family man. And, you know, that's a valid enough reason, if any, if that's what you want to do. If Rick Moranis wants to be a family man, then more power to him. It's probably a, he, he, he's awesome being an actor, and he's awesome being a dad, probably. You know what I mean? Give the man credit. Hey, that's cool. Look at my um, headlights. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, but th this game is interesting. And I really like the level designs. They're really sweet. Um, the fast-paced nature of the game where it just kind of speeds up and stuff. It's kind of weird. It's kind of off and wonky, like I said. I like looking at the moon. I, they're kind of like rehashing some of the effects, like um, they got the uh, leaves. Oh, this is the same level anyway, it's just Pleasantville B. It's just a different version. It kind of reminds me of Speed Devils. I think Speed Devils could have used more uh, tracks, but despite the... I mean, they had cool little elements and little, little things happening with their tracks. Um, these tracks don't look as, as cool, but... I, I, I like the subtle differences. There are a lot worse racing games. Like, there was that, like, what was it, Mag Force Racing or P.O.D.? No, actually, P.O.D. Speed Zone was actually good. I think it was Mag Force Racing that was pretty lame. Um, but, yeah, uh, the Dreamcast has its fair share of bad racing games, and despite my poor game play, um, this one is not that bad. It's pretty good. It's, uh... A little weird with the, uh, I don't know, it just feels unnatural. I, I, I wish that the frame rate was actually kind of lower than what it is. But uh, minor gripe for the most part is just uh, me and my bad gameplay. What can I say? Dreamcast 84. Oh my goodness. Oh, I, I busted through something. Well, I, I'll just talk about it and just not really focus on playing as much, but... Uh, yeah, th this game's cool. I mean, just look at it. It's got good, a good color palette. Uh, music's not that great, um, but I want to like it, and that's all that matters. I feel compelled to play it more and um, and unlock more stages, which is good. I can't say that a lot of, about a lot of games. Uh, uh, some games I just don't want to ever play ever again, like Spirit of Speed 1937. No. No and no. I, I double your no and raise you a no. But, um, yeah. Um, I want to say... 
uh, I like Exhibition of Speed, and I like Speed Devils a whole lot. I recommend Speed Devils. And I, I would rate those solid tens. Um, and I think Spear, uh, Speed Devils is better, but Exhibition of Speed, I think I'm, I might have given that a 10, didn't I? I don't know. But I, I do like Exhibition of Speed, and I, I hate to say it, but I think Exhibition of Speed might be a little bit better, just from my casual perspective. But... I'm thinking like an 8.2. It's just that I, I'm not wanting to give this one too much credit, just because like the the it's, it's weird, just uh that weird frame rate skipping and uh, 8.2 might be a little bit unfair, but I mean, like I said, I like exhibition of speed and speed doubles more, so. And, uh, you know, bottom line is what you think anyway. But, uh, yeah, just just 8.2. It's just I'm going to throw that out there. Why not? Just kind of meandering with me yammering on. So, do I recommend? I, I, I do over other racing games. This, this one's going to be one of the... But I'm going to be more vocal about other games. So, I, I'm not going to either... I'm, I'm not going to recommend or not recommend because I'm probably not going to talk about this game to begin with because I'm pr I'm more likely to talk about 4x4 Jam, uh, even POD, Speed Zone, and uh, Speed Devils. Like, I'm just more likely to be vocal about those because I, those are more of my favorites. So, you know, uh, Star Wars Episode One Pod Racer is better than this. But then again, I get kind of stuck in that game. I always reach a brick wall later on in later stages. I've never beat... Episode one Pod Racer, although I would, even though I've tried uh, cheats and stuff before too, but that's beside the point. So, uh, what did I say? Eight point two. Do I recommend? Uh, kinda. Just I'm not gonna really talk about it, and I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are awesome. Thanks.